I don't want you stepping on the mound if you're just gonna make jokes. So I feel like you don't care. Not that I don't care. This is a serious game, brother. I mean, I don't like Thomas very much anymore. Steven Gonzalez scratched. <laughs> oh no! On the field again, second second game. I'm scared. Baseball gods, yes! yes! What is up guys, your boy Steven Kenna is back at it again. Guys, we are back here for a Valley Boys game 11. It's gonna be an interesting squad today. You know, we're trying to finish the season undefeated. Guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Join the Valley Boys, bringing you guys content all summer. We got everybody rolling in, talking about their favorite movies. What age group are we speaking on? Speaking in general? general? I'm talking about like general popularity. We're not talking about most like realistic, down to the specifics of Sam the minor leagues. Kick from all genres. Yeah. Comment favorite. below your favorite baseball movie. What are you guys picking, Benchwarmers or Sandlot? Like, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like Benchwarmers is up there. It's not quite as good as Sandlot, but I'm not saying it's not even in the top five baseball movies. I don't even know, bro. I disagree with that. Unpopular opinion, Summer Catch, bro, top baseball movie. I'm gonna say it. He charged Summer Catch on my Amazon Prime account, dude. Like, come on, dude. Hey, it's not available anywhere else. I get a $3 charge for Summer Catch. The Cape Cod, like, summer experience. Hey, man, it's a, it's a dope movie. The minion Rise of Gru? Yeah, just not first Minions one. First Minions? <laughs> yeah, Rise of Gru's good too, though. <laughs> I just feel like that has nothing to do with what we were talking about. No, yeah. it does. They're movies. It's a movie. But they don't We're play about our favorite baseball movies. in it. The dude thinks Minions 2, Rise of Gru, is a baseball movie. I mean, the dude's a joke. They should make a baseball, <laughs> like, Minions movie. That'd be sick. Like, Major League is even better than Bench <laughs> I mean, I put Major League 2. Top three? Major League Three is brutal. Two's that was my top one. <laughs> you guys have seen Surf's Up? <laughs> Again, I just feel like you're not. That's my number on one. The, same of all page. the Funny Hair Penguin movie? Yeah, like Chicken Joe, Big Z, <laughs> yeah. Tank Evans. The movie's classic though, but not, not amongst the same subjects, hey, really. Surf's Up fans, make yourselves known in the comments. Hey, Minnick, you excited to pitch today? Yes, I've been trying to all year. I'm pitching, finally, after weeks of begging. I'm like a little bit nervous because it's Minnick's first time pitching and between me and you, he sucks. I was supposed to close it out one week, but Jake Bear hit a walk off a mercy rule thing and I couldn't <laughs> pitch the next inning. I've been the only catcher for a while, so I've had to catch. I've been wanting to pitch for so long and I finally get to. Are you gonna carp today or what? Like he's got a nasty knuck, so. We'll see if that one. Makes the makes oh, the what other the field, pitches but. you got on deck? Pretty traditional, just a little, little heater, curveball, slider, and then split change. I mean, there's a reason he hasn't pitched until now. We're on game 11, and now he's pitching. I think just stick to your role, dude. Just be catcher. Tom Brady's gonna come relieve him uh, if he needs to be relieved. I don't know. I will. I have, I have to leave <laughs> in like an hour. Yeah, you have to leave early. Dang it. <laughs> so good. Villa, this kid's cap. Look at that mean? thing. Uh, hey man, I put that Valley Boys work in. <laughs> I'd be, gr be grinding. Well, you got a sweat line, but you're oh, you got a, You got something else. Yeah, it's probably a sunglasses line. Shout out Velo Shades. Use uh, code Valley Boys 10% off. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Velo Shades. <laughs> Red Hat, you need to come here because, bro, your commitment means nothing. You were supposed to be here this whole time, bro. It's disappointing behavior. Red Hat was supposed to be here during season. He hasn't started for us once. Only the Dodger Films fans will know, bro. So much hate. Over, under, 11 runs from the Valley Boys today. For sure, over in three innings. Three yeah. innings? Jake Bear is going to hit two home runs today. Let's get it. Guys, I think this is the first time I've actually warmed up at this field. Definitely need to have the legs warmed up here because the ball will roll. But yeah, right now getting the arm loose. I might have to go in, you know, just in case Minnick leaves like super early and we don't mercy them. I haven't pitched since high school, but, you know, I think we're going to get the job done. You know, I got the outfield arm. First three innings, I'm going to say over, man. Like, you know, I had a game last game. Cameraman Jeremy honestly low-key missed my home run. He missed my home run and my triple. So, uh, yeah, you know, I, I called him. We talked about it. I was like, bro, dude, you filmed Dante stealing at second and missed my triple. So I have to do it again. You know what I mean? Like, that's the only way to, to do it. Can't complain about it. Just got to keep going off. So if I do that. I think we'll be in a good spot to be over. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a fun day, boys. Let's get it. I just wanna make sure you're taking the pitching thing seriously. I'm serious about it. Because I just feel like you think it's a big joke or something. No, take it back. Um, it's just really fun to embarrass hitters is usually what I go after. I just, I'm worried he's gonna step up there, not gonna K anybody. He's gonna walk people, hit people. Uh, okay, because I'm trying to get out of here early, you know what I mean? Well, I am getting out of here early regardless of what happens in the game. See, that's why it's, uh, I feel like you don't care. Not that I don't care. It's that I have priorities that are Where are you going? I'm right here. higher up on the list. Because I'm throwing like 68. I mean, strike guys out there on 68. It's kind of funny. 
This is a serious game, brother. I mean, I don't want you stepping on the mound if you're just gonna make jokes. Should I pitch the first inning with this one? Bro, with the UCLA little gold glove, catcher's glove though, a pitcher's? Yeah, could that be allowed? I don't know, it's a little too shiny. What can happen? I'm gonna grab the first inning with this thing. I might not catch a single ball thrown back to me though. Just have a good handy to go. The newest Apple pitch com we got right here. The Apple pitch com. Red Sox, 2018 Red Sox. Uh. Boy, Steven Gonzalez is late though. Cameraman Christian called it. Don't know where he's at. I should probably text him or call him. He probably was at the club till 6 a.m. like usual. So, guys, don't go to the club. Nothing good comes from it unless you want to work in some weird adult scene. You know what I'm saying? We're out here in Hollywood, baby. Valley Boys. You gotta find a way. I'm, uh, I'm down to play in the field if I have to. That's the second rule of Valley Boys. First one is no fence. Second one, don't go to clubs. <laughs> yeah, no fence, no fence, and don't go to clubs, bro. Don't go to clubs, nothing good comes from it. Got the brothers rolling in late right here. Hey, look who it is. It's Nicky. How's it going, man? I gotta say, I'm glad Tom Brady's gonna be here because he's gonna save the day. I hear you're uh, relieving today. Hey, thank God, man. That minute guy doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Oh, man. Tom Brady for MVP, that's my vote. Well, today I got two little secrets. Power Ranger belts. Power Ranger belts. We got sponsors, as you know. So the sponsor said, Tom Brady, buy yourself a nice belt. Super powers. We gonna win. Okay. It looks like you're going to dinner. I am gonna eat my opponent. I am going to dinner. So I wear my fancy diamond encrusted alien skin belt. What do they taste like? Like victory. Nicky K, Nicky K. Thank you. You can go now. Newbies. We got water boy Rick. I catch her, baby. Let's get it. Minic, are you ready to go, bro? Yeah, dude. On the bump? I'm good. Yeah. So confident. Let's go, Minic. I don't like Thomas very much anymore. I think he's gonna do good because he has three buttons on button. You think it's possible you're gonna go in again? Last minute revision? I don't know. I mean, we got another guy. We got two more guys showing up. If they show up, I'm, I'm out. If they don't, then I might have to make an appearance. Tony Gwynn. Man, you remember? Dude, the guy was like carving our guys up too. It was weird. He just like le left a couple over the place. Yeah, you can't do that when you're uh, off on that. If you can get that half swing where you don't swing too hard. We got Leo talking about a softball swing. Softball's fun, boys. Brought me the confidence There's to do good in baseball again. I don't know, but can't mess up some people's swing. I don't want to recommend it, but Leo, when was the last time you hit a bomb? Last night or what? In softball? Yeah, I had three. Three. Yesterday in softball. Yeah, I had a day, dude. Was there a fence? Day. Was there a yeah, fence? Yeah, the fence, dude. You know, you you played in that league. It's the it's the modified fast pitch, which is the closest to baseball. Ball, you can steal and bunt, which is cool. So it's mostly ex college guys and Dominicans, and Dominicans, right? And yeah. he, I brought Nez out a couple times. We did one vlog there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that was, that was a fun day. I think that was like my first time just like scorching a softball, yeah. and now I kind of just do it all the time in Dodger film. So he brought me out to softball for the first time. You know, David Ortiz and Vladimir Guerrero had they were in a softball league in the Dominican in the off season every year they ever played baseball. So in the oh, off season, really? yeah, they would take massive hacks. And just be like the same hack they took in the game, pretty much. Yeah, you know what I mean. Bring just, that softball hack to the baseball. Yeah, bring that. Man. So I, I don't know, man. I also agree that I became a better baseball player when I played more softball. I swear to God, dude, a better hitter exaggerates kind of the swing, but then you kind of figure out like, whoa, wow, dude. If I, if I really just kind of take a huge hack every now and then, you're gonna connect. It's like power, go power forward. swing every time, like square, square, square. <laughs> I had four bombs yesterday. Dude, let's go, dude. Yeah. Dodger but films. Three and one inside Parker. Yeah, but like Damn. one was a no doubter. Yeah, we also we both hit three bombs yesterday. Yeah, really. That's last wild. Time. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was at the light, dude. That's crazy. All right, guys, I just got off the phone with Steven Gonzalez. It's literally 12:58, and he said he's five minutes away. It's like, come on, bro. He didn't even text me. Coach, what are we doing? Lineup changes. Making revisions. Making <laughs> revisions. What we got right now? Slams in. Slams in the outfield. Steven Gonzalez scratched. <laughs> oh no. Last time you said Valley has the most beautiful woman in California. I do. I agree with that. Still. Which city in the Valley has the most beautiful woman? It's a good question. I mean, uh, Studio City. Is a good start. It's got a lot of the girls that are actresses, models that don't want to live in Hollywood. So they live in Studio City. Calabasas, though, has got a lot of those Persians. The Persian girls are unbelievably beautiful girls in LA. Persian Israelis, they're out in Calabasas, where the most beautiful girls in the valley are. You uh, wouldn't know. Wait, actually, you, you wait, wouldn't saying. know. It's all good. You, you, you could ask me that. Like, I, I, I have answers. You wouldn't know. It's it's all good. You know what I mean? We're, you, we, you wouldn't know. I just feel like but it, you, my you know cameraman I mean? snuck away to ask you that. Well, you we've know. been hanging out all day. So you could ask. He me. wanted, well, he wanted the right answer. You know what I mean? It's, it's all good. 
Justin, were you yeah. waiting for him to show up to ask him? Like, I've literally seen you all day. All right, guys, it is uh, pretty much game time. Let's get it, baby. Bro. On the field again, second second game. I'm scared. <laughs> Tom Brady. It's Steven. Yes, sir. Let's go, baby. It's Juggernaut. <laughs> Juggernaut's here, bro. Juggernaut is Coming straight from another game. Yeah, bro. You got Juggernaut. What's up, bro? You just come from another game? Yeah, we lost. How'd you do? Uh, all right. Uh, bro, Steven Gonzalez, dude. I went to the wrong field. Oh, my gosh. You went to Sun Valley? Yeah. Ah, oh, dude. I've always in the group chat like three times. <laughs> I know. It's literally in the group chat. What is wrong with this kid? Guys, we got a full nine. Let's get it, baby. Let's break it out and take the field. Scoring, let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Dude, now we got Juggernaut up, bases loaded. He's not even going Jersey Tuck. He's pulling an Andrew Judge right here. Let's see the slow ball. Oh. oh that's down, that's down, that's down, that's get down. Ball, get down. I'm on Andy. He's still, he's still walking to first. Oh, God. Baseball gods. Baseball gods. Yes. What a player. Behind my head was a very scary incident. I got a hit hit to me and I had to make a catch and I was circumnavigating the cone. Luckily I caught it. So You're called up to the bigs and you already got a play out there. <laughs> so I got his first play? Yes sir. What if he dove though, right? Should have laid out for that, bro. <laughs> Don't you think a dive would have would have been a little bit more theatrical? A minute carving with the mullet. Straight from the pitcher to the, the batter's box, basically show us. Getting that uh, driving crooner's helmet on right now for Uncle T bag. <laughs> anyway, let's see it. Smoke it a smoke it a cig and wearing a hat. You gotta be right next to me. You gotta be right, right next to me. You gotta be right next to me. <laughs> Driving with the driving crooner, baby. Look real, look real. That looks pretty real. <laughs> That's interesting. That's that should be a new thing. Honestly, why don't we use the helmet space a little bit more in Major League Baseball? You know, like there's a lot of space there to put some cool things. It could be personalized. It could be corporate. It could be corporate. If they pay, if they pay me to put Exxon Mobil on my head, dude. I'm doing it. What would you customize right here? Like something that if I if I had to customize. Yeah, exactly. If I had to customize something on my head, it would be just like probably just a hot chick, just a real curvaceous Latina. Painting the helmet, making it like murals or something. Yeah, maybe. yeah exactly. Dude. We should honestly murals right there, bro. Bro, that'd be dope. Tattoos on a helmet. Exactly, bro. Like it's, it's like a tattoo so, on your head. So helmet tattoo. Comment down below if helmet tattoo should be a thing. Guys, not gonna lie, that helmet does look real right now. That man's just smoking a stoke. I'm just fixated on the pitcher's uni, bro. There's some interesting undertones. Basically the rays, pretty much. Rays with pinstripes. This pitcher's just Nikki's speed. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a, I didn't know he had a speed. Freaking Nikki. Your backside instead of Andy Ray is giving Nikki some swing tips. Nice help it. Free sun coming up. Free sun coming up, sir. <laughs> I can do this with my eyes closed. It's so easy. I'm gonna do right here, bro. Well, I mean, he's been playing softball, right? This is his one big chance to really kind of mesh baseball and softball together with a guy throwing about 55 miles an hour. And then Uncle Slam did exactly that, found a barrel and got a blue base knock, scoring an RBI, Minnick sliding in there with the driving crooner helmet. You love to see it. Bro, Slam with the RBI single, let's go. Hey, we got boy Minnick with the double. And Nicky kept his streak of getting dosed alive, but the umpire said he had to stay there because I guess he didn't give a good attempt at getting
getting out the way, um, which was kind of interesting. Then he ended up walking, and he was uh, very happy to get to first base. Then Andy Reyes absolutely crushed the ball into center field for an RBI single. Uncle Slam just casually just strolled into home. And probably should have slid, to be honest with you, but I'm glad he got there safe, you know? Then Steven Gonzalez ended up getting a walk, and noticed that first base wasn't uh, connected to the foul line, which is uh, kind of odd. Sunday league shenanigans for sure. Then Jake Bear kept his hot streak going, crushed a double in the gap, and got an RBI. Yeah, kid is on fire. And then I accidentally skied a fly ball straight to the center fielder to end the inning RIP. But Jake was absolutely balling this game, and Nikki decided to make a bet with him. Jake thinks he's a hot shot, so I made a bet. Nikki, we're going out there. We had a big lead. We're trying to find a thumbnail. I made a bet that he couldn't barehand a ball. I didn't think he could, but he said, go barehand the ball. Jake thinks he's so good. Bet you he won't barehand the ball. We'll see. You're not going to do nothing. So say less and... Yeah, roll the clip. Then the next play, Jake Bear got a routine ground ball and didn't use his glove at all. Bear handed it and made the play at first. So then he did it. I mean, like, I. Then Jake ranged to his right, made a nice lunging grab, and kept the inning rolling. Fine, whatever, Jake. You're you're good. Whatever. Then Minnick struck out the last batter to finish off his excellent outing. I had one hit. Yeah, I did pretty well. I was happy with the performance. Minnick Carvin, bro. His pitching debut. Valley Boys, let's go. Yeah, got a good four innings in, and I'm done. Tom Brady can pick me up and, and, and shove for us. Uh, now you got to go to them, them UCLA kids. Yeah, the Enfuego kids. You got to coach them up a little bit. But he's here with the Valley Boys, so uh, he's, he's running late. So go Valley Boys. Hey, we got a Valley Boy in the stands, bro. What's up, man? Introduce yourself. My name is Jordan Gonzalez, and, you know, I'm just here to watch him play. Let's go, baby. I, I love the sport, you know. What's up? Hey, he's grabbing the foul balls. Let's go, dude. We got my sisters and Regina. What's up, guys? Blech. We were in mercy roll contention, and Leo finished off his game with another base hit. Thomas Keller followed him with back-to-back -back knocks. Then Chris Minnick ended up hitting a sack fly to right field where Leo tagged and ended up moving up to third on. Uh, definitely did not slide though. Bro, we got Leo tagging. Let's go, bro. Someone's gotta get the job done. If I have to get the job done, I'll get the job done. Are you gonna slide though? No. Okay. <laughs> then Tom Brady kept the inning going, dumped a base knock into left field where his brother Ricky, aka Waterboy, hit a double. Get there, Tom Brady. Get there, Tom Brady. Ricky Waterboy. That boy. Are we not doing station to station? I guess not. I guess we're just tacking them on right now. I had a babe top it. Second oh, half Tom Brady. Second half then Nikki finished off the day with the base hit, moving a runner over, and then Tom Brady decided to close it on the mound. Yeah, he started telling the other team what pitch was coming. That's kind of his thing. Jake Bear making the hard plays look easy. And Tom Brady decided to mix it up a little bit. My grandfather gave me the blessing to throw the curveball. So that's exactly what he did. He let the hitter know he was throwing a curveball and flipped it in there for a strike. Pretty filthy, not gonna lie. I throw one today and domination. With two strikes, he decided to go fastball, let the hitter know, and uh, kind of blew it by him, getting the Valley Boys dub, securing the Mercy Rule victory. This league is never going to see a base keep when I pitch. Valley Boys ended up taking the dub 17-0. to You know, we were trying to get ready for the championship game. So make sure you guys subscribe, turn post notice on so you never miss a video. And yeah, we're looking to take this hot streak all the way to an undefeated season. Today was a pretty good game, and I felt like we all delivered. We all wanted to leave early, so we all got the job done. I didn't get out, so that's usually a good sign. And we won by like 17, so good day for the Valley Boys. All right, guys, took the Valley Boys dub. Another Mercy Rule game, guys. I think we should stop giving pitchers MVPs, all right? Because there should be a different award for the pitcher. Okay, this is the whole Shohei Otani thing. Yeah, there should be a Cy Young of the day. Just like the young. Can't ever get MVP? Like, he's suffering in this heat. Yeah, Waterboy MVP, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Let the people talk. Let's get Waterboy MVP. Look at that. That's an empty water bottle. He doesn't deserve no MVP. How dare you? <laughs> My vote for MVP is Waterboy. He threw someone out, he hit a double, and he caught in this heat. It's 110 right now. Waterboy is MVP also because he brought me water when I was almost about to die, and I hit a double after that. I think Uncle Slam might be MVP contention Hell no, too. Bro. I was scared out there the whole time. <laughs> hey, made it, made a play though. Might get rookie of the year this year. Not yeah, sure. Let's see, let's see. We got MVP maybe Christian, bro, for getting those angles, dude. I appreciate you, man. <laughs> dude, brought the tripod today up in the got setup. Got the whole setup. Go, baby. Valley Boy's going up. Hey, yes, All day, sir. Yeah. Who do you think should get MVP? When Leo hit his triple right before he got tagged out, I was like, maybe Leo. But <laughs> yeah, he, the lack of effort right there. Yeah, said he didn't want to pull a hammy. Too many excuses, I think. <laughs> we look alike, right? It's like we're brothers or something. Bro, yeah, Midic in spirit, bro, had to leave. Alright, guys, that is going to be the end of the video today. I ended up taking out the dub. MVP goes to Waterboy. Let's go, baby. <laughs>
water boy, water boy. He brought out the ice chest today, threw a couple guys out, had a couple base knocks, love to see you, baby. Water boy got after today. He delivers those waters. Guy caught all five innings, and also he like threw a guy out at second or something, but he delivers those waters. Threw a guy out, gotta love it. If you guys are new, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, join the Valley Boys, and yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Joe Ryan, he's my hero. He's the most beautiful man in Major League Baseball. Why do you model your pitching after him? Because he's beautiful. Show a picture of him right now on screen, please. He is beautiful, man. That's what I want to be in life. Like, what about his pitching? I feel like you I just don't, think it's mm, beautiful. It doesn't matter what he does. It's how he looks.